Conley Farmer said, we are honored at Weatherford College to be honoring the best of the best in our service area. We're going to start with the Alito ISD teaching kindergarten at Walsh Elementary School. Please welcome Kelly Price. <laughs> Mrs. Price is a passionate and caring educator who carries high expectations for all students. Her calming presence flows over into her classroom and positively contributes to her class's success in all areas. She plans engaging and rigorous lessons that are also relevant to students' lives. Mrs. Price is a collaborative leader that others go to for advice. From the Alvord ISD, teaching Algebra II and Pre-Calculus at Alvord High School, Shelley Rangel. <laughs> Shelley is an exemplary teacher because she is a model in the classroom. Mrs. Rangel has been in Alford for 20 years. Her joy and ability to get students to perform in the classroom make her the ideal choice for this award. From the Azel ISD, teaching math to seventh graders at Santo J. Fort Junior High School, Cheryl Welcher. <laughs> Ms. Welcher is an exemplary teacher due to her continued focus on improving her craft to ensure student success. She has taken the lead role in blended learning, attending training sessions to grow professionally. She also wrote a grant and was awarded funding to purchase technology to serve her students in blended learning. From the Bowie ISD, teaching science in the seventh grade to Bowie Junior High School students, Jennifer Hall. Jennifer is an exemplary educator because she always does the extra things that are often overlooked in a busy teacher's schedule. She's a mentor to new teachers on campus and also finds time to coach two academic UIL teams. She implemented the National Junior Honor Society program at Bowie Junior High last year as another way to encourage and support the students in her school. From Boy. A dyslexia specialist in first through sixth grades at Boyd Elementary, Katie Allen. <laughs> Mrs. Allen goes above and beyond to serve the students in the district and the community. During the summer of 17, she traveled to and from the Texas Scottish Rite Hospital in Dallas for four weeks of her vacation time to receive training in the Rite Flight Program for children with dyslexia. She was always the first to set up and volunteer, whether it's to help a child at school or to volunteer in the community. From Bridgeport, teaching AP Biology, Anatomy and Physiology, and Aquatic Science at Bridgeport High, Katie Paul. <laughs> Ms. Paul is creative but data-driven in her lessons and activities. Students enjoy going to her class and doing hands-on learning with labs, live animals, and many other creative tools. She also helps coach girls basketball. She's also the department head, professional learning community leader for science, mentoring new teachers and helping the experienced teachers in the science department. From the Burleson ISD, teaching third grade at the Academy of Leadership and Technology at Mound, Lindsay Muse. Mrs. Muse is an outstanding instructional leader and role model for her students. She's a team player and works with her peers to plan, analyze data, and make instructional changes to ensure that students' needs are met in a timely manner. She coordinates the school's campus sunshine committee, which has increased staff morale. That sounds like a fun committee, actually, the sunshine committee. Mrs. Muse is an integral part of campus leadership at her school. From Castleberry, teaching English at Reach High School, Nadine Mahalix. <laughs> Mrs. Mahalix is the epitome of what a teacher who teaches for all the right reasons looks like. The love she has for her students and the lengths to which she goes in order to help them is unique. One example, one of her students' mothers has a rare form of cancer. Every Friday, Mrs. Mahalix sent him home with various groceries and oftentimes a home-cooked meal. Students know that even after they graduate, she has an open-door policy for any help that they need. Our next, uh, our next 
honoree is not here. She's sick today, unfortunately, but we do want to recognize Belinda Boyer from the Chico ISD. She teaches kindergarten at Chico Elementary School, and we'll get her medallion to her. From the Decatur ISD, teaching first grade at Carson Elementary School, Jamie Petty. Students fortunate enough to be in Mrs. Petty's classroom experience unconditional love, meaningful learning experiences, and growth in all their developmental areas. While she takes her job seriously, Mrs. Petty constantly infuses her classroom and activities with fun and engaging opportunities to learn. Her work ethic and masterful approach benefit her students immensely. From Garner, teaching kindergarten at Garner Elementary, Crystal Colson. In addition to providing fantastic daily instruction, Crystal goes above and beyond to facilitate several special events throughout the year, like the ABC boot camp and fashion show, and kindergarten graduation, among others. She also partners with kindergarten classrooms around the country for ABC pen files. Because of her obvious love for learning and her unwavering dedication to meeting each student's needs, her students are set up for future success in first grade and beyond. From the Grayford ISD, teaching science in fourth and fifth grades, Dawn Foreman. <laughs> Mrs. Foreman is the type of teacher that predicates instruction upon relationship. The students leave her classroom day in and day out, educated, empowered, and encouraged, because she has designed meaningful lessons that leave them feeling academically successful. Her passion and preparedness serve her well. From Granbury, teaching English, 9th through 12th grade, Granbury High School, Becky Latham. Her colleagues have called her a magician, a gardener, and a juggler. With the expertise to adjust a lesson spontaneously to meet the needs and moods of her students, she understands that being a great teacher requires a willingness to be flexible while staying calm. She runs a tight ship that conveys her concern, but has a wry wit and a consummate professional that makes life with her full and fun. From Jacksboro, teaching physics, pre-AP physics, anatomy and physiology, also dual credit, A&P lab at Jacksboro High, Randy Fry. Mrs. Fry is confident, enthusiastic, and compassionate. She's instrumental and was instrumental in bringing dual credit science courses back to Jacksboro High School with Weatherford College. Thank you for that. She worked with WC to become an approved lab instructor. Due to her efforts, students in Jacksboro can earn college credit in anatomy and physiology. She's always willing to try new strategies and encouragers of her colleagues to visit her classroom to share ideas. From the Joshua ISD, teaching first grade at Elder Elementary School, Cheryl Moncrief. <laughs> Cheryl's willing to do whatever it takes to make sure that all of her students succeed. She's been called reliable, dependable, an advocate, has a strong worth ethic, is nurturing, willing to work with any student, and always makes it a point to visit her students away from school by attending their individual games and birthday parties. From Lipan, teaching English, language, arts, and reading, fifth grade at Lipan Elementary, Kyla Martinez. <laughs> One coworker said she is here for the students, every student. Mrs. Martinez serves as a site-based representative she also coordinated their fundraiser, making over $8,000 for playground renovations. And she also serves as the co-UIL coordinator. Her principal said, I believe she's a teacher who will change the lives of hundreds of kids in the future. From Millsap, teaching first grade at Millsap Elementary, Cindy Burkett. Cindy not only leads her students to academic success, but she guides her colleagues as well to provide exemplary instruction. She is constantly learning and implementing best practices 
to ensure that her students receive research-based instruction in an engaging and motivational manner. From Miller Wells, teaching English language arts in the fourth and fifth grades at Travis Elementary, Patty Newsom. <laughs> Mrs. Newsom is a dynamic member of Travis Elementary. She serves the entire department by coaching teachers, co-teaching, model teaching, small group teaching, and guiding PLCs and in instructional planning. They say that uh, six out of eight star tests uh, closed a large gap in student performance on six out of eight star tests there at Travis Elementary, and they say that she is a huge reason for that. Her vision for changing the mindset of school and communities is contagious, and she attended Weatherford College, by the way. <laughs> right. Love it. From Munster, teaching social studies and reading in the fifth and sixth grades at Munster Elementary, Cicely Wanek. Mrs. Wanek says, I love seeing the students get excited about learning. I like teaching this age student because their individual personalities are just beginning to truly develop. And it's her goal to foster their growth. She believes all children can meet their educational potential provided they have a loving, safe learning environment and motivational guidance. From the Palo Pinto ISD, teaching science and social studies in the fifth and sixth grades, Amy Tincher. <laughs> has high expectations for each and every one of her students, but also provides them with the tools needed to reach their goals. She will exhaust all avenues to ensure that every child is successful and engaged. Her willingness and eagerness to work with others leaves a lasting impact on all who come in contact with her. From Paradise, teaching reading and gifted and talented in the sixth, seventh, and eighth grades at Paradise Junior High, Tracy Woodard. Mrs. Woodard is an exemplary teacher because she has a heart for teaching and she puts her students ahead of herself. She has the initiative to adjust her lessons to ensure all students understand the concepts. She has been asked at times to change her teaching area and she never hesitated. She gives 100% effort in everything that she does. From the Peaster ISD, teaching English, AP 11th grade, Peaster High, Melody White. Ms. White is described by her colleagues as a joy to work with. Always pleasant, creative, and innovative. While she is the lead teacher in her school's GT program, she works in such a way as to challenge all students to do their best. Her sponsorship of the Junior World Affairs Council organization has led to the creation of an outdoor classroom. Always the volunteer, she works hard as a class sponsor and has been instrumental in pioneering new technology in the classroom and she became a certified teacher through the Weatherford College Teacher Certification Program. Congratulations to you. That's great. <laughs> From Perrin Witt, History and Coaching at Perrin High School, Rebecca Bland. <laughs> Ms. Bland continually holds students to the highest of expectations, demands respect, and builds positive relationships not only does Coach Bland have teaching and coaching duties, she also sponsors the local Fellowship of Christian Athletes organization. Coach Bland has a unique way of connecting with her students to simply get the most positive results possible. From Poolville, teaching the first grade at Poolville Elementary, Cheryl Wilkins. Cheryl has a way of motivating students to feel they can accomplish the task put before them. She has developed an outstanding first grade program, leading her fellow teachers in providing instruction that sets the foundation for reading, writing, and math. Mrs. Wilkins instills a love of learning in all of her students. From Santo, teaching English language arts in the second grade at Santo Elementary, Dusty Irwin. Campus has a need. She always has been willing to help her kids learn and progress. 
Dusty treats all students with respect, especially skilled at helping struggling kids meet their potential. She's an expert at teaching kids to read and has high expectations for all. She has a huge part for teaching and is an important part of Santos' campus success. From the Springtown ISD, teaching U.S. history, both AP and dual credit, in the 11th grade at Springtown High, Linda Lang. Ms. Lang has developed a reputation among her peers and cohorts across the state as a master teacher willing to share her ideas and techniques. She'll represent Springtown at the Mount Vernon Spring Residential Program, a four-day professional development for K-12 educators to learn more about the life and times of George Washington. I want to go to that. That sounds pretty cool. Furthermore, Linda is a reader for the AP U.S. History Test, as well as a former evaluator of questions for the STAR EOC. She's a stellar educator that leads by example, is willing to share her knowledge and experiences with anyone. We're very glad to have her as a dual credit instructor through Weatherford College. From Stephenville, teaching math and science in the third grade at Hook Elementary, Kylie Haley. I like this one. Grit, grace, growth, and gratitude are the four words that her nominator used to describe Ms. Haley. She constructs rigorous lessons that challenge yet engage her students in learning and frequently transforms her classroom and takes her students on new adventures and experiences. Her soft-spoken, gentle nature is a perfect encourager to a young soul. From Toller, teaching kindergarten at Toller Elementary, Amanda Taylor. <laughs> Mrs. Taylor works tirelessly to create a challenging, nurturing environment for her kindergarten students. She creates a sense of community and belonging in the classroom. Her students know they can depend on her. As the lead teacher for pre-K through first grade, Mrs. Taylor collaborates with her colleagues through various new and innovative ways. She's passionate about teaching and has the true calling to be an educator. From the Weatherford ISD, teaching ELA and social studies, fifth grade at Austin Elementary School, Cassie Walker. <laughs> Cassie has been a Weatherford ISD Campus Teacher of the Year at two elementary campuses and was selected as the District Elementary Teacher of the Year in 2018. Every year, she shares with her students that she is a dyslexic learner. She shares this to emphasize the understanding that learning looks and feels different for each person. What comes easily for one individual may take extra energy for another. No matter the differences between each individual, we're all working toward the same goal, an understanding of how learning works within the walls of the classroom connecting us beyond the walls and into the world around us all. And finally, from Weatherford College, a professor in social work and human sciences, Susie Jerry. <laughs> Susie works as a licensed clinical social work supervisor, mentoring up-and-coming social workers in the discipline of psychotherapy. She also volunteers on the Weatherford College campus to ensure student participation in campus activities and political organizations. She participates in forums and presentations designed to educate colleagues and students on many different topics while attending professional development seminars to enhance her understanding of topics that improve college life for students and staff. She serves our students with a kind heart and dedicated drive to ensure that they have every chance to be successful in their educational endeavors. Can you please give a rousing applause to all of our Jack Carpenter family, Marie's.